have autoimmune encephalitis with thyroid antibodies, otherwise known as Hashimoto encephalopathy. Before my symptoms really started to show, I was a very active person. I loved to paint and create. Sally had no quality of life. She was either in bed, sleeping, or just sitting, or sitting on the couch, resting. Uh, the kids and I uh, really missed out on her, and she missed out on us. And eventually my eyes started to shake so badly with nystagmus that I could, uh, couldn't walk without feeling motion sick. We all have heroes, and this is my hero. She came to me with a complaint that she had difficulty walking, had problems with her vision. She had seen multiple physicians for her anxiety, depression, and difficulty getting out of bed. And this is exactly the scenario that we see with these patients. I treated her with prednisone, and over the weekend she was in contact with me and she was telling me that she was improving. We subsequently began treating her with intravenous gamma globulin, and she slowly started improving. We also then started adding on rituximab to treat her symptoms, and Subsequently, going from a woman who is married with children that was unable to function and get out of bed, she moved to a fully functioning individual and returned back to a normal lifestyle. Sally was eventually diagnosed with autoimmune encephalitis, also known as Hashimoto's encephalitis, where she created antibodies against the brain. Now I um I'm living so much better. Um, I do have the occasional flare. I know I can't be superwoman, super mom, so I do a few things a day. I rest. I have definitely improved so much. So thanks to my treatments, I was able to be there for my son's surgery. We've been on a few great vacations. Spending time with family and friends was something that I used to take for granted, but now um, I just I look forward to it and it's very special to me. Autoimmune encephalopathies, also Hashimoto's encephalitis, these are rare disorders that we estimate between two to five per million. However, these are the patients that we actually recognize. What's more important are the patients that we do not recognize that have these disorders. We need to do more research in this area to find out, number one, what's indeed the etiology or the causative factor that's resulting in patients living a normal, healthy lifestyle, subsequently developing cognitive changes, behavioral changes, and potentially lapsing into comatose states. We need to find out what the instigating factors are behind these symptoms, behind the diseases. We have to find out what if indeed there are better treatment protocols for these patients. Having good support for autoimmune encephalitis is so key actually for any encephalitis. Um, so I truly believe um, that a good support group is very vital. HESA was a lifesaver for me. They're an online support group who put out a book and they also have a support group on Facebook. Now I'm currently on the board for HESA. I love being a part of something bigger where we can help others with this disease. I'm excited to be a part of this organization because it brings um, support and awareness to patients and caregivers of those diagnosed with Hashimoto encephalopathy. Hopefully one day spreading awareness will bring about uh, more speedy diagnosis and um, treatments which are life-saving. As a patient and an advocate, um, I do believe neuroscience is critical.